You have to understand that the listeners to alternative radio in the years when it began and for the 10 years or so that it existed were very, very severely influenced by, impacted by, and haunted by overwhelming political issues. Richard Nixon has announced his resignation. Vietnam War, Watergate, nobody was reporting anything but the good news. So I walked in off the street with no radio experience per se and I said you know you should be doing something satiric or fun with your news and and Tom Donahue said okay you, you're on the on the air next week. One of the examples I would give for freeform radio and the difference that it really made in our society as a whole in our country what was the music saying what was our news and information talking about we never covered a murder. I always used to say our news and information is, should be described as all the news that's fit to slant. I started playing with collages and putting music behind the news headlines or cutting up uh, the politicians' speeches so they would say what they really meant to say or what, how I interpreted what they meant to say. I think we were more inspired by television techniques and movie techniques, fade outs and fade ins. But that's not dissimilar from what disc jockeys might do with, with segues from one record to another, you know, especially creative DJs on the FM level who were suddenly freed. They didn't have to break everything with a commercial. And they didn't have to play all the hits all the same all the time. You know, we didn't want to do the same news. People needed a touchstone for what they felt was going on but wasn't being reported. I got a phone call from Jack Church, and um, he said he had this idea, and he'd been listening to me on the radio years ago uh, at KERS, and he thought that the time was right for a show about women. When I was news director at KZAP, I did not want politicians running it, people with some political agenda that they would always wheel out there. I wanted, and I hired artists to do the news. As long as we know we have options, we then have the opportunity to find those of like mind, to organize and to protest the, the vision that doesn't allow for an option, which is to say, generally, government or business. People who are given good information tend to make good decisions. They don't always. People who are given bad information almost always make bad decisions. Our job as talk show hosts, as newscasters, as street reporters, all of which I was, was to give people the best possible information on which to base their actions and decisions. And I'm proud of the work we did do. God damn it, I like that. Yes, man. God damn it, I like that. <laughs>